All right, ladies and gentlemen, as ever, my name is Shane. That's Shane is Games, and tonight we're going to be playing some L.A. Noir for the PC. This will be our first time playing, so if you want to see how we got to where we are tonight, or check out some of the other games we've played in the past, be them obscure, unusual, or nostalgic, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. Uh, but for tonight, let's go ahead and get into this. So, here's where we're at so far. We are playing Detective Cole Phelps. He is freshly back from the war and trying to get over what happened to him there, which we don't fully know yet. He started out as a humble street cop, and now he has worked his way up to the traffic desk. Currently, he is on a case called the Consul's Car. What we know so far is someone abandoned a, uh, abandoned a brand new Packard, a very fancy car for the age, brand new in somebody's backyard. Who would have the money to do that? We don't know, but one other thing we've heard is it appears to have diplomatic plates. So we'll see where that's going today. Let me get caught up on chat right here. Gear Joe, I don't know that I'd necessarily call this a retro game, but it is almost 11 years old at this point. Over a decade. So it's it's definitely not a, uh, a young game. I wouldn't call it new by any any means. Let's see. Sheamus, you're the same way as football. You've gone to games in person. I, I, I think we're in the era of HD. It's just there's a lot less reasons to go to a game these days, especially if your goal is just to see it well. That's what I'm thinking. And yeah, the, the music in this game is amazing, Gyojo. I completely agree. I think PS3 is pushing retro right now. Because here's the thing you got to keep in mind, Gyojo. The PS3 right now is older than the Super Nintendo was when the PS3 first came out. Now, when the PS3 out was out, no one was arguing that Super Nintendo was too new to be called retro. Everyone sort of agreed on that. But now, even though even though the PS3 is older now than the C Super Nintendo was back then, everyone's like, no, no, PS3 just came out two weeks ago. No, it, it's not retro yet. It's kind of there. <laughs> it's kind of getting there. Now, granted, PS3 did have a long life. So there are some very old PS3 games, and there are some less old PS3 games, but still, it's in there. It's in there. And yeah, it's two generations old as well, you gotta keep that in mind too. Race worker, you look like Penn from Penn and Teller? I get that a lot. I get that a lot, at least once a week. <laughs> He's a handsome dude though, so I appreciate the compliment. And yeah, I, I play the obscure, the unusual, and the nostalgic. So I'm not always necessarily playing retro on here, but I do try and play older stuff than you typically see on Twitch. And this is a little bit older than you typically see on Twitch, I would say a lot of times. X Race Work, you have a PS2? I do as well. We were just playing on it uh, uh, Friday, as a matter of fact. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, so yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get into it. As I said, I am playing with a controller because I think that's probably what this was designed for. Uh, yep, there we go, the console's car. You should play Asteroids. See, that's a bit older than I like to play. Like so far, the oldest we've played on stream, aside from one NES game, is typically we only go back to PS1. Because PS1, PS2 is kind of like my era. I feel like. Oh yeah, PS2. There's still some people on this site that argue that PS2 is not retro yet. It's a, it's a wild west out there. But, uh... I think PS3 is on the edge of becoming retro. Like, if you want to say it's not yet, I'll agree with you. But I think it's very close. I think it's very close. Alright, so let's take a look at the car first, and then we'll go from there. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Alright, that's unfortunate. Somebody pulled the plates from there. Yeah, I know, Gearsha. Like, honestly, I want more games about solving mysteries. That's my favorite kind of game. I know it's very difficult to build games like that, but they are my favorite. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. All right, so it is a consulate car here from Argentina. 
That's kind of wild. Very interesting. And the registration year is 1947, so yeah, this is a brand new car as well. Yeah, LTG, Sega! Sega, let me stream your games! <laughs> X-Race work, I love playing in the arcades and spending my Oculus allowance. I love those days. We still have a very big arcade. The world's biggest arcade, as a matter of fact, in Chicago, which is very cool. Got that. Check the trunk. Empty. Nothing in here, not even a spare tire. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. A car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. All right, yeah, that is interesting. Again, this is a brand new and very fancy car. And somebody only told, stole like one tire? Yeah, somebody only stole one tire. What is going on here? Very weird. All right, let's look around a little bit, then we'll talk to the officer on the scene. And then we'll talk to the witness over there. Might be another witness over there too. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. Shameless for classification, I think, three is three points of retro. See, that's another thing that I really wanted to mention here is when we talk about what is retro, I think another thing we need to mention is what definition are we seeking? Because if you're talking like... If you have a retro games like Swap Meet, then yeah, I expect to see mostly like Atari 16-bit and younger there. That would make sense to me. But when I say what is retro, I'm specifically talking about Twitch. And the bottom line is that Twitch tends to have a very young audience. And for the Twitch audience, like it or not, there are a lot of the Twitch viewers find like PS3 2B Retro, they agree on that. It's not generally the audience that disagrees. It, it tends to be uh, the streamers. So for the purpose of streaming, I think it's pretty uncontroversial that PS3 is starting to get up there in years. Alright, what does it say in there? Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. All right. We'll have to use the phone to see if we can get any more information on that. What is retro is what you feel like retro. I mean, I, I think it is useful to have a common definition. And so I like talking about it, but you know. Badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks. All right, so we've got a mysterious Packard here. We've got a wrench sitting there that appears to have come from a Packard deal dealership. I think we're in good shape right here. Is the Wii U retro? I'd have to check how old it is because I get all fuzzy there, but I don't think so yet. No good to me. Right, anything else to see out here? Probably got all the important clues so far. I'll check over in this garbage see if we can see here. We turned it for a Wii fund. Oh god, terrible, terrible. <laughs> 
This is a cat that's just unreal. It hasn't given me anything to go on. That's insane. Wild is what it is. Is the Wii retro? I think, once again, I don't think the Wii is retro, but I think it's on its way there. I think it very soon will be. I, I, I want to see! Excuse me, officer. Alright, so that's just a gawker right there. A rubbernecker, if you will. We was 2007? Yeah, that's getting up there. I mean, yeah, obviously Pac-Man's retro. That's, that's not even... <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to fight you there. Oh, nice, Seamus. Holy crap. Right, is she somebody? She's not somebody. All right. Well, let's see who among the officers we need to talk to, and then we're good. Let's see, is this anything? Nope, it looks like a... This isn't what we're looking for. Crumpled up paper cup, and a baseball, which would make sense because we've got a baseball diamond Everything on the ground here. Is going to be relevant. All right. That's fine. Talk to this guy, see if he's got anything to say. He does not have anything to say. Alright. Well, we talked to him when we came in, too, so there's also that. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. All right, so he seems like a fun guy. All right. Damn kids playing stickball. <laughs> All right. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Well, he doesn't look like he's lying. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to him, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. All right, so at least we got one piece of information there is that you saw an old Ford. So that's a good thing. Not playing stick and hoop like they did when I was a kid. Apex, welcome in. How are you doing today? Now that's retro. <laughs> After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Oh, he's lying. He is lying. Um. Let's see, do we have any evidence we could use here? I don't think we have anything to prove that he went near that car. Uh, I'm gonna try doubting him. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. All right, so he was lying, but we didn't get any good information out of it, unfortunately. Yeah, there is a lot of racism in this game, but it was 1947. There was a lot of racism around the time, unfortunately. And yes, thank you, Will. Do we do we advise that they do have a lot of period language in here, which is unfortunate and not something I endorse, of course. Excuse me. <laughs> he is kind of a Statler type, isn't he, Rooks? Welcome in, Rooks. 
How are you doing today? Yes, yeah, Snap-on did not... Was Snap-on around in 47? I wonder. Of course, if it said Snap-on there, maybe it wouldn't be as good of a clue, so that could be a thing as well. All right. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. I think he's telling the truth. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. All right, so it was a red car as well. That's a little bit more information. That's good. 1920s for a snap-on. I had no idea they were that old. That's interesting. Thank you, Ren. I appreciate that. Let's see, how have you been doing with interrogations? Very good so far, Vaxi Man. I'm not sure we've missed any questions yet. I'm sure we're going to miss some tonight, but so far we're doing real well in here. All right, last question here. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Oh, he's definitely lying there. Um, let's see, do we have anything in our notebook we can use? I mean, the license plate was uh, taken as well. Let's see what happens if we confront him here. Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? I mean, no, I, I, I'm not saying that he has them. What do you think? Should we accuse him about the license plate? Because he didn't mention it? Because he said it was just the tires. But I'm not sure if that's what we need to be doing here. What do you guys think? I'm curious. Let's see. Founded in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in 1920 and moved to Kenosha in 1930. Back out and call him a liar, you think, LTG? That might be the better th option here. <laughs> yeah, this guy is not a good liar. He definitely is. Los Angeles finest, huh? God help us all. Oh, you shut up, dude. <laughs> it's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. All right, yeah, let, let's just, uh, let's just try calling him a liar here. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? You want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Oh. -ho. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is a big clue right here. Let's see what this notebook is. This could be big. 1947 agenda, Juan, Fran uh, Juan Francisco Valdez. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. and i yeah, I, I think I see what we're seeing in here. Wow. Wow, I'm, I'm not going to read any of this, but... Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, wow, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> All right. Ali Lordswood, welcome in. How are you doing? Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. All right, so there's another clue right there. That could be important. <laughs> that is a creepy-ass notebook. What the hell, dude? All right. Let's double-check where we're at right now. So, we've got the old man we were just talking to. We're good with him. We've got the mysterious people who are stripping the car, allegedly. 
We've got Juan Francisco Valdez. And we have the William Dewey that he was uh, presumably meeting with. And, you know, Dewey Brothers on the wrench. That's probably a connection right there. All right. So, looks like our next uh, thing is let's go check out the Dewey Brothers dealership. So we can find out over there. I think that's probably what we're doing. Yeah, there's some there's some stuff going on in there. Goodness gracious. Alright. Oh, he is way back there. All these cops? Something big, right? All right, set destination to the dealership and let's head over there. It's up to every American, man, woman, and child to save a little food every day. And that way, the people of Western Europe can be helped in their fight for decency and freedom. Huh. Make sure your family does its part. Look for the bin at your local grocers. Your help of some dry goods or preserves will help those who need it the most. Donate today, won't you? And be sure to buy your victory bonds. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. That is weird that they just abandoned the vehicle. And they didn't even strip anything off aside from the one tire, although they did get scared off, so there's that. KGP Alta Annie Unit, the 459, they're now at 267 Main, unit to handle code 2, identify. Uh, yeah, we can take a side quest here, I think. We'll just do the one. That'll be fine. That was cool that they had a little period, uh, appropriate, uh, commercial slash, uh, public service announcement there. That was kind of neat. I appreciate that. Hopefully this one's not super far away. It'd be hard to tell on the minimap. That cop was holding up the fence. I mean, I think he was keeping people from coming into the scene. Perhaps. That might have been it. In which case, you know, that's useful. That is useful. KGP Alta Annie Unit to 459, they're now at 267 South Main. Unit to handle code 2, identify. Let me get responding. Go ahead, KGPL. Ooh. You pennies is hiding from me. I will find you all and eat you. Oh, drugstore. Damn. Oops. Why did you places have so much preparation H? People need it. You're fucking going into a construction yard. Lunatic. Get back here. All right. Stop, stop, stop. We really need to lay off the wheels. And we're fighting. Oh, wow, he had a glass jaw at least. Parkour! Yeah, running around in those shoes. Brutal, brutal. Hey, Zebri, welcome in. How are we doing today? Well, he didn't fall off the, the building at least. That would have hurt. That was a nice quick one. Let's see. I notice it keeps highlighting phones on the map. Do I need to do I need to use a phone for anything? I think it only highlights phones when I need to use one. Let me check real quick. His mother would be proud of it. Catching all those prints. 
There's such a thing as soaking out. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Star goddamn can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Oops. Any messages? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thank you. He wants an audience, goodness gracious. Alright, so the car has officially been reported and Juan Valdez is down at the station so we can talk to him later, but I want to go to Dewey Brothers first because if we're going to talk to him, I'm going to want as much information as we can first. How does the car receive a radio call with no antenna? I have no idea. I don't know what kind of antennas they'd need at the time. Already one eighth of the way through there, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get back on the job. Alright, so we're heading over to Dewey Brothers, who may have been the ones who sold the car, and also may know about the wrench that was used in an attempt to strip the car as well, so that's an odd coincidence there. Oh man, Vaximan, if you want to replay this, so far it's holding up really well. Another if you're getting the urge to replay this, I say go for it. Alright, ooh. We got a new landmark, Angel's Flight. That's pretty cool. We'll check that out later. Yeah, we're not going to go for that one. I don't want to go too hard on the side quest. That was a nice quick one, though. Ooh. Pershing Square! Another landmark. Ooh. Wasn't dangerous. These classic cars, yeah, they, they did a really, really good job of getting the vibe of the era. The buildings, the cars, the clothing. It's just so neat. Even the music. I really respect just the insane dedication to detail in this game. You breathe in those lovely fumes, please don't. Don't do it. It's bad for you. Alright, we are almost there. And this should be it right here. Dewey Brothers dealership, 3.10 p.m. Oh yeah, thank you for smoking. I love that movie. That was such a good one. Underappreciated movie, I think. It's California stuff, thank you. We are in California, I suppose. <laughs> Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. All right. Well, that's good. Getting straight down to it. See if we can find if the wrench came from here. Pinchable <laughs> cheeks. Car salesman, man. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. All right, we'll look at the the wrenches last. Take a quick peek around the shop first. I bet a broad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. 
Is that a tiny little spark plug? Optimistic, Cole. I think it might be. Just mess around while that guy's just down there. Nothing significant. Just a license plate. Probably lots of them around here. Doesn't look like anything. Also punchable for some people. Yeah. He's got that Weasley vibe to him. Can't stand it. No good. We need diplomatic plates. Okay, none of those are a match. All right. Check out the wrenches. You here. sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Guys, why don't you give us some alone bracket. time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. All right, so we're gonna put all the wrenches back. See if there's a spot missing is what we're doing. There we go. And we're helping him clean up his shop, so that's nice of us. There we go. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. All right, we got a name right there, too. That's interesting. All right, it's still making music like there's something else to be found here. Let me look around a little bit more. Still something else to see? Not that I see. This is the place, though. Hey, which wiseacre used the half-inch and didn't replace it? Couldn't tell you, sorry. All right, I don't think there's anything too interesting in there. Who's the guy in the car? We have no idea. We haven't heard anything from him yet. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the hustle, at least. Guy's trying real hard. We could have just counted the wrenches. True, true, but, uh, you gotta add some puzzles in there. <laughs> I do like that too, Lost. That makes me happy. All right, Mr. Dewey. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. All right. Well, let me check the evidence first. I want to see something. Uh... Let's see. So we've got the missing wrench right there. We got the notebook from Juan Valdez that mentions uh, his name. All right. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Hmm. Do we call him out? And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. No, that doesn't sound like a thing we need to go down. No, I don't think we're doing that. Looks like I made a mistake. Shyster is a fun word. I like that one. What do you think? Do we do we try and use some evidence on him, or do we call him out for lying? Do we just sort of push him, or do we try and uh, show him the notebook? That's what I'm wondering. What do you think, Chet? I'm curious. Check evidence? So... So what we've got, we've got Valdez's notebook. Because it says Juan Francisco Valdez on the cover. And it says William Dewey with his phone number in there, so we could hit him with that. We could use that as evidence. But I'm not sure if that's the ideal thing to do here. 
Yeah, Kiwi, this game has probably the best facial expressions I've ever seen in a video game. They're amazing. I love them. They're so good. So that's what I'd use right there if we had anything. We're not going to shoot him, Nano! And welcome in, Nano. How are you doing today? So what do you guys think? Um... If you boys are going to stand around all day, maybe you could black some tires. How about you shut up, William? Wouldn't show my hand early? All right, so let's... Let's see, let's back out of this. Book him? So, James, you think we should use the book on him? Hmm. Show him your badge! We've got full intuition points, so we could just use intuition, too, if we wanted to. Yeah, let's use some intuition. Why not? Let's use intuition and let's ask the community. 72.8% of players chose the correct answer after using an intuition point. Alright. Ooh, it's actually a big spread here. He's definitely not telling the truth, so yeah, let's accuse him of lying. Let's accuse him of lying, let's show him Valdez's notebook. We found your contact details in Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something, do we? Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal, he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. All right, so we caught him in a lie, but unfortunately we didn't get any good information out of that. All right. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. It sure as hell isn't here. Oh, he is absolutely lying. What the hell? Um, I don't think we have any evidence to use for this. No, I think we should just press him here. Yeah, almost 11 years now, Trey Dog. How wild is that? Address, Dewey, where my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. All right, we got an address. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's really interesting. So we have... Uh, we have as many as five points, and we use them to we get them whenever we level up, and we can use them to eat uh, for three things. Number one, we can look at what other players chose in that situation. The rest of the community. Number two, we can take away some of the options, kind of like fifty-fifty, and who wants to be a millionaire. Or if we're at a crime scene, we can use it to highlight all of the clues, so we can find them easier. It's really cool. I like it. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Demon bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Hmm. I think he's telling the truth. Let's go ahead and go with truth this time. That's it. Damn it! Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. So that one we got Thank wrong. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Going to movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. We really ought to take more time over the Packard Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. So, unfortunately, didn't get all three of them right. We got two out of three, and we did get an address at least, so that's a good thing. Maybe we should go check that out. And Shino and Trey Dog, thanks for kicking in towards our community goal. I appreciate that. All right, so let's head to Delgado's next. I don't think we need to go talk to the con uh, the councilman next. No, we're not shooting anybody. No. Let's head to Gabriel Delgado's. I think we might be able to get some information out of him. I'm feeling like we can. 
Like, if he was actually one of the people stripping the Packard, he'd be the one we want to talk to first and foremost. You read the story in The Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. You scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talk using color. And look what we have now. 3D movies. Preposterous. Poppycock. Absolute madness. No, I don't have none of this talk. How could you even have a third dimension to the films? Makes no sense to me. Uh, I think we missed our turn. Hang on. We're turning around. It is not a great turn there, don't emulate that. Yeah, 3D is still a gimmick. Like, 3D TVs, when they were a thing for like 10 minutes, did not stick. Did not stick. I don't know if it ever will. Like, I can see like AR being a thing one day, but... Uh, 3D TV and 3D movies, I don't think it'll ever be a permanent thing. I'm not feeling it. Alright, now I'm right on track. Let's head through here. Winter will be upon us before we realize it again. It's the truth. It is the truth. Hey, Looks like it's just up the stairs from here. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another commendation? Let's just head up here. I think it'll be uh, easier than trying to drive up this way. Now you can't even get new 3D Blu-rays anymore? Yeah, 4K is the big thing now. Some people are even talking 8K these days. Delgado's Residence, 3.20 p.m. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. Let's see, Shino, enjoy your lurk. What the hell is this guy doing? All right, not the prettiest of places. I don't see any mailboxes or anything. Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? Oh, right, three. Sorry. Forgot we already had the number. <laughs> LTG, you missed HD DVD? I think you might be literally the only one. Quite possibly. Is that three? I think so, yeah. Yet. Yeah. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. All right. Time to scope the place out. So how far along are you, Anna? Nothing over here. Nearly 20. There are dozens of us. Dozens! Right. So how's it going to be when you go Got in Got 8K laser disc. Around? What the hell? You are wrong about Gabriel. <laughs> he will be a good father. Already he works hard to fight for us. All right, what do we got here? Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seen sure for a very long time. Yeah, just a to-do list, maybe. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. All right, what do we got over here? I don't think this is going to help us. Hand it. Nothing we need. Cigar stub. So. 
Doesn't help us either. All right, let's keep looking around. Hopefully there's some clues around here somewhere. Kettle's on. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Aha! If there's two plates here, then what's the other... Who's the other person if Gabrielle isn't anywhere here? There's a rear porch here. Doesn't look like there's much to see here, though. No, nothing out here. Emperor! Hey, welcome in, Emperor. How are you doing today? You just have one big plate, then. It's easy. How are you doing, Emperor? How is your weekend going so far? Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. <laughs> Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Certainly. Ma'am, this is Lonnie is suspicious. I'm placing it under arrest. I'll be, uh, impounding it in my stomach. <laughs> Really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. All right, so he thinks we need to check out the Packard again, so he must have missed something over there. I'm going to take his advice. He keeps insisting there's something I missed with the Packard, so let's, let's go back there. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? Any question or we can come back. 760. No, national news. We can come back. This foot must be searched. March of Dimes campaign in Washington. I mean, if he keeps talking about the Packard, I assume that means I miss something. Ceremonies at the Capitol by dropping there. Okay, so. Oh no, I actually can't go back there. That's interesting. So if I did miss something, I, I can't list it as a location anymore. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to have to in interrogate her then. What could we have missed, though? I thought we did a pretty thorough search, personally. Well, I just sit there and listen to the radio? That would be kind of nice, too. Chill experience, I think. Alright. Anything else to search around here? Not that I can see. All right. Well, let's have a chat then. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Yeah, I think she's being straight up about that. His honor, Anna? He said to his friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, do we? He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. Well, that's extremely illegal. But, uh, good, good job with that. That's the only question we could ask. That's really weird. Alright, well, we must have missed something before, because we didn't get to ask her about the fact there were two plates there. That's really weird. Yeah, we can't talk to her about anything else. And as usual, it's still playing the clue music like there's something else to be seen here. Which is super weird, because this isn't a big place. Oh, we've seen pretty much everything. Nothing over there. I already searched that. It's asking you to use intuition. I don't wanna, though. I don't wanna use intuition to search for clues. It's dumb. All right, 
right, so we already searched that. Yeah, I have no idea what else we'd even search here. All right, I'm gonna see if I can manually go back to the Packard. Check that out. Hey, Chinen, and welcome in. How are you doing today? If our partner keeps insisting we miss something there, we probably miss something there. So let's go see what we can do. Hey, Saturn, I am keeping well. Thanks for asking. LAPD advises all parents to send their children to Sunday to school there. and take them to church. All right, so check the map. All right, so there's the Delgado residence. There's a police station. All right, there's the Jacob's backyard. So we'll go ahead and manually flag that as our destination. America is the lucky There we go. We can do that. That'll work. California is one of the finest jewels in America's country. All right. A land warm by the sun and cool. So we've got some interesting information here, definitely. Especially if her accusation about uh, Valdez was true, which, you know, does kind of check out with the creepy things we found in his notebook. So I think we definitely found our car thief, number one, but number two, uh, I think there might be some other things of concern that we might need to look into here. You know, possibly. Alright. Yeah, let's head back here. Let's do a, one more. Let's do another once over the vehicle. See if there's anything we missed here. Did we look inside last time? Maybe that was what we missed. No, that's where we found the uh, registration. We saw that already. So we check the trunk. We saw the missing tire. We saw the missing plates. So we're good there. So what else is so important that we find here? Let's see, we saw we saw the wrench. That turned out to be an important clue. So we got that. Well, you know, just for the sake of trying it, let's try using intuition. Just because we've never done that before. Show all clues. Remaining three. We missed three clues. Interesting. It says the first one's over here. Oh! Oh! I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. We definitely missed that before. That's frustrating. That's probably the big clue that we were missing, honestly. Alright, I think that's it. But that, I think I know exactly what we need to do with that, because what does the other flag look like? Yeah, I've got an idea what we need to do next. Alright, let's head back to the car and we'll head back to the uh, apartment. Oh, that's frustrating. It's a tiny thing, but it's an important thing. Get in, partner! Hustle, hustle, hustle! Bob, welcome in, how are you doing? Yeah, I think the other clues disappeared because they were unimportant. I suspect that's what it was. Right, we'll hit the map. It goes dark for a while, which is very spooky. And then we will mark the Delgado residence again. Holy crap! Christ alive! Alright! Should not have blind turned there, that was my bad. <laughs> Woo! A little more excitement than I needed right there. Oh, they're gonna build me for that. <laughs> Try to look! I know that's reasonable. I respect this. Alright. Delgado residents, we're coming back. And we have more questions. Right around the corner. 
Alright. Good to so. When I spy lamb, I stop strut. Alright. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? That is me, yes. I did solve the big case and get promoted. Thank you for noticing. Oh, was it remaining? Oh, that could have been remaining three in, uh, intuition. That would make sense. I hadn't thought of that. That's probably what it is. All right, can we talk to her again now? Because there's the thing. Souvenirs are a dumb move. There's the stolen flag from the car. Not that there was any doubt that uh, Delgado's the one that stole it. She pretty much already had confessed to that. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Oh, really? You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. I will send your baby to baby jail. Maximum security baby jail. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Maybe check out back too. This punk has something stashed somewhere, I know it. Yeah, she said something about a shed there, so let's go check that out next. The yeah, Vaxi Man, the only thing that'll be rattling for your baby will be the bars of his jail cell. It's cold, but it's necessary. LTG, <laughs> thank you. Ruled over by a smug baby, the most powerful of all babies. Watch and see if he's in the shed. Let's hope not. I don't want to get jumped. Nope, nobody actually in here, but what is in here? Pry bar, maybe? This is any use to us. Yeah, I think it's some sort of pry bar. And, what do you know? Diplomatic license plates. As if we needed more evidence against him. He absolutely, definitely did this thing. Nope. Yeah, the baby didn't even try to stop the crime, so possibly charge the baby with conspiracy. I think we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. <laughs> Probably nothing. All right. Circumstantial. Yeah, always good to build your case, at least. This is going to be a very strong case. Uh, some sort of chisel, maybe? This doesn't pertain to the case. Possibly. Hey, Packard tires. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. All right. Once again, it's still playing the music. The music's supposed to stop when we found all the clues. Is there clues around here? Who's outside the shed, maybe? I don't see anything. Check out in the yard, I suppose. If there's anything else to see out here. There could be, I suppose. If the music stops, that probably means we left the search area. 
Apex, you have this game, but you never played it? I love this game. I think this game is so cool. I am a big, big fan. I don't know, I'm not seeing anything else here. I mean, we can definitely tie Gabriel to the car. Let's start with that. We can we can absolutely definitely tie Gabriel to this car. Oh, Stubby! Congratulations! That's awesome. Hope everything went okay with that. Hope everyone is safe and happy there. But congratulations, Arthur Two Sheds Jackson, that monster. see anything else in here. Alright. Well, let's, uh, let's talk to the partner see what he's got to say. Where is he? Back at the... Is he inside still? I think he's inside. Let's see what he thinks we should do next. Oh, you just tied him to the car. Are you looking to threaten him into a confession by driving around with him strapped to the car? Actually, Emperor, that's an excellent idea. <laughs> oh, here we go. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle. In the and at the sort of parts, we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. <sighs> well, she's obviously lying here, but what do you guys want to do? How do you want to go after this? Emperor, thank you so much for the gift sub to Stubby right there. Gift sub number 1,111. That's a lot of ones right there. Thank you so much for the generosity as always, Emperor. Pupper bribe, a beautiful bribe. Let's see, we can use intuition again if we need to, but I don't know nothing of these cars you speak of. We're not gonna shoot her! We're not gonna smack her around either. <laughs> Let's check the notebook. Let's see, what happens if we accuse her? You're lying, Anna. I think you're a willing accomplice in these robberies. What proof do you have that I stole the cars? We don't have any proof that she stole any cars. Um... I mean, we've got the flag inside. That's pretty suspicious, but... Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. I don't think the notebook mentions her in it, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think we should just doubt her here? We could just doubt her if we wanted to. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm open to suggestions if you guys got any. We're not going to use violence. <sighs> um... I think I'm just going to doubt her then. I don't think we have any evidence that she was tied to this. That'd be weird. So let's, let's just doubt her. What do you want? The answers. The truth. Nothing but. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on 1st and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. Oh, God. 
No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. So he's a street racer. And if you he's at the kiddies, starting let's line. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. Yeah, if he's at the starting line, he might already be ready to go, so this might get out of hand. <laughs> Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? That is me, yes, thank you. Thank you, no autographs. All right. <laughs> yeah, we might have to do some racing here. All right, locations of the illegal street race. Ooh, see, you hear how the music changed right there? When the music changed, it means you're going after the suspect. So that means we're on the right track. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Jesus! Phelps, come on! We shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're calling the money. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. No, that's fair. That's fair. For a side quest, we are on the hunt. All God right. damn maniac! All right, my bad. All right. They turn on the side. Oh, you know we are actually. Uh, we are technically on the way to apprehend a suspect. So let's turn on the siren. We got places to be. We got a suspect who may be preparing to pull the that we have to apprehend. Let's do this. I don't know exactly where we're going. We haven't been to this part of town before. Nope, sorry. Ooh. Illegal street racing, he says. Oh no. No, don't. There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Oh no. Quick, they're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Hey! Stay on the gun. Trying to force me off the road. Holy crap! Holy crap! Gonna lose him. No! Stop! No, oh, God! Jesus! You guys are insane! Alright, two of them are down. Delgado is our boy, forget the others. Yeah. Oh, he's got a big lead on us, but he's not out of there yet. Whoa! Crap! Friggin' spillway, what the hell? We'll catch him yet! Oh god, what are you doing? Step on it, Phelps, take him out! Pull over! Come on! Oh, the car's losing power! Damn it, Cole, hold it steady. I'm 
trying. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, he's running. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking collar. Whew. You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Whew. I nailed just about everybody in that case. All right, so we only missed one clue, and we only missed one question. That's not bad. Vehicle damage, 278. Not bad. City damage, $30. Probably all at the very end there when that car forced me off the road. Not my fault. Case notes, an audience with, Grand Con uh, with Consul General Valdez might have given you the thief as well as his motive. Well, we already got the thief and his motive without talking to Valdez, but at least we know there was an alternate route we could have gotten to get... Uh, Gabrielle, if we needed to. Yeah, no, I'd say that was a pretty good uh, clearance right there. We got pretty much everything. We got four stars, as it said right there, so it's pretty good. I'll take it, I'll take it. On to the next case. Ooh, Apex, thank you. I'll do that in just a moment. You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Wow. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Wow. That got tense. Seriously, jeez. Also, man, Cole did not get along with that guy. A marriage made in heaven. Holy oh, shit! Gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. The mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. All right, we got a hit and run to deal see with. Busted near find the guy here. Let's go see what we can find, I suppose. The bum took a swipe at me, put him down in my sap. 
Ooh, that was that was incredibly violent. So, so what I'm seeing was Kelso was in officer's school, and then he basically dropped out to join the infantry. Which is understandable because, oh my god, Cole hated him so much. And basically set out to destroy him is what I'm seeing. You guys noticing that too? This is the wrong car. This is, this is a patrolman's car. We don't want that one. Also, Apex, you redeemed posture check. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Oh, man. So that guy definitely got wrecked. We're going to have to see if we can... I don't, I don't know how we're going to be able to track down the hit run car. That guy was driving super fast. But we'll see if we can find out. Cole is clearly sober. He just wanted to check out the other car's seat, do a little inspection on it, make sure the seat belts were regulation. And there has been an auto theft outside the precinct. No, I was, I was just checking. I was just taking a peek in there. No worries. No worries. I appreciate that, Apex. I need a good stretch every once in a while. Make sure I don't get too uh, tensed up during the game. I tend to do that. All right. And it's nighttime this time. We've been doing everything else during the daytime. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. And Rodriguez might do time. Ooh. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. How do you do that? I'll give him something better. No, well, that's unfortunate. She definitely didn't have anything to do with it. I mean, she knew about it. But, uh... She doesn't deserve to go down for it. That is completely unfair. Hopefully Cole's able to uh, convince the DA. Fun fact, seatbelts were required in motor vehicles till 68 in the States. Interesting, I think I heard that. That is, uh, that is pretty late, surprisingly. male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street car hit over there and he ended up here dead on impact by the look of it have you canvassed the area the only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there she lives above the bar in the Shannon Perry no it's not a stage name 24 years old she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road is that so we'll take a formal statement later right now we're gonna take a look around Alright, so we'll go check with her and we might be able to talk to the bartender as well. I notice whenever uh, we get in the cars, you notice the, the character's hand going up to their shoulder like they're doing a seatbelt, which is pretty cool. Right, there's his hat. Anything to see? I don't think so. Phelps landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. Nothing to see on his face. What else we got here? Take his hands. Nothing to see there. And his other hand. Nothing interesting there. All right, let's check his coat pockets. Yeah, yeah, I think I think he's definitely dead. That would be my analysis as well. Oh, we got a wallet. We can notify next if can. All right, Lester Pattinson. Got a few bills, but nothing interesting. Alright, let's check the other coat pocket as well, just to be thorough. 
And a letter. California Fire and Life. Madison has life insurance. It is with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application 14F and pre-approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium on your life insurance policy from $370 per week to $590 per week. This raise became effective on January 1st, 1947, where our standard veteran care policy entitled you to a lump sum payout of $10,000. In the event of your untimely death or permanent incapacitation, this new plan secures your beneficiaries a sum of $16,000, which has been circled in red and wrote next to, what the fuck? We at California Fire and Life thank you and wish you good health and security. So not only did he have a titanic life insurance policy, he had it in his pocket. Tell me that's not suspicious. That is not the thing people do. $207,000 in today's money. Yeah, that's that's a little suspicious right there. That's, that's a little worrying. <laughs> All right. That's very concerning. Starting to wonder if this is completely accidental. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. All right. So we're looking for a car with a prominent hood ornament. That's reasonable. Right, let's keep looking around and see what else we can see here. Whew. Body traveled a good 20 feet. In other words, that car must have been going crazy fast. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Why was the car going so fast, though, is the question. The hell kind of hurry was it in? So the driver managed to brake before the impact. But it was still going that fast. Holy crap. Going insanely fast and still, they, even, even after they broke uh, brake beforehand. That's wild. Let's see, is there anything else to see around here? Careful where you're stepping, Phelps. All right. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. You could if you wanted to, I suppose. All right, that's out of the zone then. All right. Let this alley over here. Can we search that? What? Excuse me? Oh. A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Yeah, that doesn't look like any steak knife to me. Jesus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say probably not a steak knife. What the hell happened here? Junk. Yeah, there must be a huge steak. This case just got a whole lot more interesting. It doesn't appear to be connected. Yo, yeah, what kind of steak? And how rare was it? Cherry pie? Who eats cherry pie with a steak knife? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat my steak with an 8-inch kitchen knife. Also, it's going to be completely, totally raw. There's going to be blood everywhere. Alright, music stopped. Does that mean we're out of the area, or there's nothing else to see there? Nope, nope. I'm not.
No, no, the music's playing again. Shoot, I thought we found everything. Oh, jeez. Everybody steaks less, less than a meat cleaver. That's wild. Seems irrelevant. Dino steak? Interesting. Must have paid a lot for that. I said I wanted my steak bloody. I mean bloody. All the way bloody. It's all yours, detective. All right, I don't see anything else to see here. Make one last look. Can't talk to him again. You've seen it all. Alright, yeah, that knife is definitely, uh... That knife's definitely something. Can we talk to him about the knife? As far as the tech services thing you mentioned? No, well, that'll be something we drop later, I suppose. Technically, blood is a solid? Seriously? I mean, it sets up, definitely. I don't know if it's technically a solid, though. Um... Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. All right, let's see if we can get some information from her here. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. All right, so she overheard an argument. Uh, it doesn't look like she's lying. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Yeah, all right, interesting, interesting. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Oh, well, that's handy. All right. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. That's good. That's good. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Hmm. She's lying. I don't know why. I don't think we have anything to prove, but let's doubt her. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Yeah, that's the idea. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the Let's hit the phone first, and we'll go talk to the bartender. Give him time to do that search. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How can I help, detective? I need to run a partial license plate three Charles eight. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton. 738 West Temple Street. Thanks, ma'am. There we go. We got enough information to actually get a Looks name like we got a break on this one. That is fantastic. We're still going to talk to the bartender first, see if he got, he's got anything. Also, I think there's a newspaper there. Aha! We got another newspaper to check out here. 
So for anybody that hasn't seen these before, these are scenes that show important events around Los Angeles that may not relate to us directly right now, but they're going to be important later on. Let's have a watch of this. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem, and then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. That sounds a little suspicious. So yeah, when we first started looking at those newspapers before, we didn't know who that Courtney Sheldon was, but now we know that he was in uh, Cole's unit in the war, which is interesting. Or at least was in his uh, training uh, camp, whatever the, the name is for that. Do you hear that played so quickly? Dedicated Rolodex? I mean, they didn't want us to have uh, sit there for 20 minutes on the phone, so, you know, they gotta speed things up a little bit. Alright, let's have a chat with this bartender then. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. <laughs> Lorna, all right. On a first name basis with this woman. That's interesting already. During World War II, they generally trained a whole unit, sent them as a whole. But I think Cole was in officer's training. But I don't think that would necessarily count for that. Maybe an in infantry, but I'm not sure for him. No, no, please criticize. As a psych student, psychologists and therapists of the past were not exactly... Yeah, yeah, there was some questionable stuff happening in Kiwi, most definitely. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Oh, he's lying. The hell is he lying to me about? So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. All right. Yeah, it looks like he's going to give me some trouble right here, most definitely. No, she no, I'm absolutely not going in person anywhere. I haven't done basically anything in person in almost three years now. <laughs> also, I don't have an Xbox. I've never owned an Xbox. I don't know if I ever will own an Xbox. Let's see. Rain, your stepdad was an experimental psych professor. The stories he tell me about the bad old days were... Oh, jeez, I can't even imagine. No, I absolutely don't want to get COVID. I've been very safe. I've been extremely safe. I haven't been to a sit-down restaurant in almost three years. I haven't had board game night in almost three years either. I've been overly safe, if anything. No offense, fellas, but having cops hanging around ain't exactly good for business. Maybe you should go to hell, buddy. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Uh, I think he's being straight with me here. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. 
He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. This guy is definitely hiding something on us. I'm not sure what's going on here. Hey, Val! Welcome in! How are you doing today, Val? A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? You think we should press him here? He's acting real weird. I think we should press him. Something, something's weird. He's acting real weird all of a sudden. We're not gonna shoot him, Stubby! <laughs> hey, Danger Gerbil, I'm going good. How about yourself? How are you doing? Also, EP and Kiss, thanks for kicking in towards our community goal. We're not going to select lie, because I don't think we have any evidence to use here, but I want to I wanna press him. I'm going to hit uh, doubt. No offense, fellas, but having cops hanging around ain't exactly good for business. Let's try pressing him. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo, the owner. All right, this this guy is being incredibly suspicious. I'm not liking this. Stubby and Danger Gerbil, thank you for kicking in towards the community goal. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. What is with this guy? Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. <sighs> All right. Yeah, that bartender is really, really holding stuff out on me. That's so weird. Can we go back here? See what we got. Aha. So this is why everybody comes to raise. Yeah, they got an illegal poker game running in the back here. Nothing much to see there, though. That just leads out to the back alley. Nothing to see out there. All right. Well, we do have a couple of leads there, so I think we're good. Yeah, Vaxi Man. So, maybe not the worst thing in the world that he got taken out, but still, it is a crime. We need to look into it. You don't know that it's illegal? I suppose, and I don't know much about the laws in 1947. I assume it's illegal, but I have no idea. I have no idea. That is correct. Alright. Yeah, you are right. You are right. Thank you for correcting me. Secret Uno games in the back. High stakes Uno. <laughs> All right, Chris Technician, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. All right, so let's see. So the Pattinson residence is where the wife lives, and. Let's see, the Shelton residence is where the car that struck him is. Hmm. What do you think, folks? Should we go talk to the wife first? Or should we skip straight to seeing if we can uh, find out more about the car that struck him? 
because we know we know we're pretty sure we know what uh, about the car that hit him so we could just go straight there like there's obviously a bunch of stuff going on here but uh, I'm not sure that we need to dig into it Dex Platinum welcome in how are you doing today Dex hope you are doing good I don't know, let's talk to my partner, see what he's got to say. Let's see if he's got any suggestions with what we've got right here. If he wants to get out of the car. Exit the vehicle! Exit the vehicle! Wow, he does not want to come out of there. <laughs> Get out of the damn car. I'm stumped. Ideas? We've got to track down that Lincoln Phelps. We find the car, and then we nail the driver. All right, yeah, we are on a hit and run. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and investigate the car. That makes the most sense. Go straight for what we're doing here. Let's see, and Stubby, thank you for investing in a Harvester sequel right there. We definitely need to get some driving in the Harvester sequel, because we didn't have enough of that in Harvester. There was no driving actually whatsoever, and that I think was a big mistake. So we need to have basically like Gran Turismo tier driving. Does it need to have good acting? No, we can cut corners on that. Graphics? We'll cut corners on that too. Uh, puzzle design? Yeah, we can just sort of wing that, but... The physics for the driving need to be flawless. Every car needs to perform exactly like it would in the real world. We'll spend all the money there, and people are going to love it. All the rest is just, just icing on the cake, really. We don't need to worry about the rest. <laughs> Hit and run? So is it Simpsons? i got to play that game sometimes, Stubby. That one seems like a cool one. And the car seems to have to last no more than five seconds total. Exactly. We don't want to overwhelm people here, Emperor. It's very important. Every car will be a Packard. The most popular car, I think. So yeah, this is the, the address of the registered owner of the Lincoln, so let's just head straight there. Sims Hit Run is a good game. I've never played it, but I am interested. I am definitely interested. That and the, the game just Lucky called the Lucky Break getting the partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff? Right. Well, in hit and run, the perp is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. You're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be, are you, Stefan? I didn't know I was making myself out to be dumb. Man, they were bonding for a second. Right? Units in the vicinity, you see the security guard at 459 there now, at 536 South Figueroa. No, we're getting Get close to where we're going. Let's head straight there. Alright, Shelton Residence, 502 AM. Yeah, that too, Rooks, that too. Ah, oh, we had to wait around until morning because nobody's there. Oh, hey, buddy. Going somewhere? Got a big trip planned? You seem to be an awful... Oh, wow, what happened to your car? That's that... son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelby. Well, we got a runner. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Woo. Oh, man. He's got a good car, too. Out of the way! 
Lay into his wheel, Archie. Come on. I'll pit him. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I'm trying. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Dang it. Oh, jeez. Crap. We're gonna lose him. Let that asshole get away. I'm on him. Whoa! That's not him. There he is! We're right on his tail! Wow! Holy crap! Where is he going? Jesus! Oh my god, where is he Take going? Him to the station! Go on! Get after it! Go, go, go! Open right there, Sheldon! It's a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Sheldon. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. You become all part of the prospect of paperwork, don't you? Evelyn Knight. All right. Whew. Let me caught up on chat real quick. <laughs> Car chase! Them Duke boys is at it again. Yeah, that pit did not work at all. Unfortunately, pit maneuvers rarely work in this game. Everyone is just a spectacular driver. <laughs> Press X to do the car has petrol in it. Yeah, we may have hit some people there, but he was making a run for it. <laughs> making the world a safer place. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there was an open door, but I was I was in a bad mood. I had to kick a door there. I had to go for it. <laughs> yeah, we did we definitely hit some things. So here's the thing. We well, definitely hit him. So he's definitely going down for that. But here's the other thing. He mentioned there was a man and a woman right next to the car. And we found that bloody knife in the trash. I think there's still something going on here. I think we're not done investigating this case. There's still something that stinks here. I don't like it. Any sentry to the 415 possible win or case at 7th and Flower Unit to have a victory identified. Go ahead and do a side twist real quick. That's fun. We can take a quick side twist. That'll probably restore one of our intuition points anyway, so that'll be nice. Alright. Good to stay well stocked at intuition. Gives us lots of options. Alright. Jesus, your blinkers got down. Oh, jeez. I don't think we actually have him. Oh, jeez. Watch what you're doing! Sorry! <laughs> he is so panicked. Understandable. He is so panicked. <laughs> it's gonna stop at red lights first, but I've got places to be. Oh, God! Fun. Don't worry about it. Very really fun. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there's there's a couple of reasons that we want to do side quests as often as possible, and one of them is once we hit max level, which is level twenty, we actually just get our intuition restored to five at the start of every case. So that's awesome, and we want to do that as quickly as possible. 
But also, we don't want to waste intuition points along the way, because we need those. So we kind of got to uh, balance it out as we're going. Oh, this one's a bit of a hike away, I think. That's fine. Go ahead and turn here. Never knew what LA had trams all the way back in then. Pretty cool, huh? It's, it's really nice just seeing all the things they got going on here. Um, are we hitting up here? Maybe? It's hard to tell. Uh, let's keep going straight. One more street, then we'll turn. This is getting close. American Century Broadcasting. They just kind of rattled the occupants around in a crash. That's a little terrifying. Now with national news from American Century Broadcasting. Oh. Careful! That was my bad. I actually hit the wrong button. Sorry. Right. Ooh, that was my bad. Members have reached the screen with subversive propaganda. Subversive communist propaganda. Opening talk. Shocking. I want to emphasize. Jeez, Ram, sorry. 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 Got a little confused. May have pressed the wrong button. It happens. Influence. It happens to the best of us. Any century in a 415 possible window case. The seventh and flower unit to have a code 3 identified. I think we're almost here. This is car 11K. We'll handle the 415. 11K, your 415 is at the Alaco station at Wilshire and Flower. Possible mental case. <laughs> Couldn't stay away from that one, could you? Hey! Oh! Wow! Jesus! You've been sending cosmic rays into my room. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not going to control my thoughts anymore. Just calm down, sir. You'd like that, wouldn't you? We got a runner! Give it up, LAPD! You went that away! Wait, which way did he go? This way? Oh, jeez! I'm sorry, lady. Thank you for the help! There he goes. Get back here! <laughs> It's fine! I'm, oh god! Was he dancing in the street? Who's dancing in the street? There he is. Don't make me See chase you! Get back here! Oh, don't go for the roof. Uh, don't go for the roof! Ow! Ow, son of a bitch! Ow! Well, shoot. now I'm considering shooting him. <laughs> now shooting him feels like a valid option. Look at him dancing. Oh, you son of a bitch. So, oh, I'm, I'm getting you. Farewell, cruel world. Jesus Christ. Okay! <laughs> Case closed! <laughs> another, another successful closure. And we got another level. I'll take that. GG! I'm not feeling very GG after that one. If we're being totally honest, I don't feel GG at all. That's just, that's just not a very GG moment. <laughs> so the culprit was gravity. I mean, the culprit was that guy beating a dude to death with a baseball bat. That's a little bit of an issue all by itself. But, uh, yeah, the thing that finished him off, definitely gravity. Oh, jeez. What a mess. What a mess. Let's just get back with the case we were on. We got a widow to notify. 
Although, like I said, this case itself is pretty complex. And I think there's more than meets the eye going on here. Let's just get over there now. Put some speed on. There we go. Kind of nice when we can just fly for a little bit. Not often we actually get to do that in this game. It's a busy city and there's traffic. Watch out for the traffic. <laughs> I'm not trying to be Judge Dredd here. I promise. I promise I'm not. <laughs> I was trying to have my best to apprehend him. It just uh, didn't really work out that way. But I did try. I did try. Let it be said for the record. An effort was made. Hanson Revident, uh, uh, Residence, 9.26 a.m. <laughs> Good news, Sarge. I didn't harm the perp. Bad news, Gravity did. <laughs> and yeah, that quote. Holy crap. <laughs> Stream Elements has an agenda. Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Alright. Well, let me search the place before we talk to her. See if we can find out anything interesting. Looks like he's got a little home poker game set up as well. Not much help. Yeah, if they don't have a warrant, do not let the cops in. Absolutely do not do it. Oh, that door's locked. Let's see what else we can see in here. Kind of an open plan here. That's interesting. Hmm. Not exactly murder weapons. Incidental. Don't think this is anything. They can't come in unless you invite them. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Hindsight, I should have put in 50 50. Yeah, there, there you go. Alright, what else we got here? Rolling pin. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Yeah, it's not important. Ooh, Oxidol. Junk. That's not junk. It's a handy cleaning product right there. Well, sewing station. Cute. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one bias against. Wait, sister. what? It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Yeah, this is, uh, 
There's a lot of suspicion right here. This is concerning. Let's go over the evidence real quick. So, we found that insurance letter on the corpse. That's definitely concerning. He had a chest wound. We know that. He was also intoxicated. We found that bloody knife. There was the argument overheard prior to the accident. And also, there was a potential business partnership between Leroy and Lorna. We know about that as well. His partner is an asshole, but sometimes he's a fun asshole, so I do like that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start the questioning. You think I got nothing better to do? Beat it. Hey! I'll tell you answer some questions, lady. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Um... What happens if we accuse her of a lie? You're lying, Lorna. You pushed him in front of the car. If you think you can prove that, I suggest you arrest me now. I don't think we can prove that. Um, let's back out. Looks like I was mistaken. I don't know, should we bring up the argument or should we just press a doubt on her? What do you think? She's def we're definitely not uh, saying she's telling the truth. The question is, do we press her or do we accuse her? We got intuition, we could use that too. That's also an option. We got max intuition, so we've got no reason not to spend it. Yeah, she's looking very nervous right now, absolutely. Yo, Seku, welcome in. How are you doing today? Also, Jay Melman, how are you doing? And Shira, welcome in. It's been a chaotic night. Welcome in, everybody. Let's see. Kiwi, you think we should doubt? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely more going on here. Absolutely. Max intuition? Just you know, a max girth, possibly. Beat it. <laughs> uh, let's, let's use intuition here. Why not? Let's ask the community. 99.5% of players chose the correct answer. Yeah, let's doubt on her right here. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. All right. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? All right, I'm just going to press doubt on that one. Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. Oh! That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. Oh! So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. All right. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Oh, well, that's fair. No, that's, that, that's fair. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Ooh. Hang on. Hang on. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? Should we bust out the insurance letter here? What do you think? That's a big accusation. That is a very big accusation. What do you think? Do we just... Do we press her for more information, or do we use the insurance letter to accuse her or something? Let's see. Kiss, you say we should bust out the insurance letter. James, you say you should do it. Doseku. Chris Technician. LTG, you say you should accuse. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. You increase the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crack games, peanut, all you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. Your 
for getting the hit and run detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Hmm. Aaron, can we use the phone for something? It's got the phone highlighted. We need to call something in. Oh, I bet I know what we have to call in. Hang on. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? Messages, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Oh, -ho. thanks for your help. Looks like we have our next destination in mind, too. And I think we all know what's going to happen there, don't we? EP, welcome in. Not for whales, welcome in. How are you folks doing this weekend? Yep, I think he was stabbed, before, and that's why he stumbled into the street. Not because he was drunk, but because someone stabbed him right before he went into the street. To the morgue! Alright. You died of ingestion! That's a bad way to go. Not like there's many good ways, but that one sounds messy. Couldn't digest that knife! Had uh, some stomach pains, is what, is that what you're saying? The most upset stomach possible. Oh, no, that's a that's we don't want to go that way. That's, that's definitely a bad way. <laughs> so take that road. Had some stabbing pains in the stomach. A sharp pain, perhaps. I love that we're all on the same page here. I'm trying not to run people over! I'm trying! <laughs> Taco Tuesdays, the real killer. How can I arrest Taco Tuesdays now? Where would I even start? What would I do? Ah. Taco Tuesday is just too powerful. I don't think I'm the man for the job there. This goes all the way to the top! The top of Taco Tuesdays! Almost driving in the train tunnel. That would have been a disaster. Would that have been the end for our heroes? Yeah, that, that would have killed me. That absolutely would have destroyed me. Central Borg, 9.54 a.m. The Mr. McCool of Detectives. Hey, I'm good at the detective part. It's just the driving I'm struggling with. Hey, down the street. Almost assaulted. Isn't he the cop who won a medal and is solving all the cases? That is me, yes. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. Two? You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. All right, let's do this thing. What the hell? Whew. This got messy. This got messy. <laughs> LTG, that is awesome. I love a good mystery. I really do. You're not disparaging the venerable institution known as Taco Tuesdays. I mean, I, I, I shouldn't be. It's, it's 
I don't have any hard evidence to accuse them, but I have my suspicions. <laughs> Let's see them get caught up right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, back then uh, that was one of the execution methods. Is they put you in an airtight room and they pump in poison gas and you, you die. The U.S. is kind of barbaric. I think that's important to get right out of the way. Alright. So yeah. Yeah, murder. Murder in the first. Yeah, seriously, Kiwi. I know it's terrifying. It's, it is terrifying. It should not have been done. Barbaric is the word. Barbaric. here. Meatloaf Sundays! Alright, Meatloaf Sundays, I've got every reason to suspect. I've never trusted Meatloaf Sundays. Get around this guy. I mean, f there was Firing Squad. I don't think Firing Squad was as big of a thing here, too. I don't know if they started Lethal Injection yet at this point. And they probably did have the electric chair. I don't know how common it was. We have lots of ways to kill people. Around here, it's horrific. I am definitely not a fan of the death penalty. If you couldn't tell. I don't think there's a humane way to do it. I don't think it should be done. But that's politics. Alright! Let's make an arrest. Coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. I see you to give me up, sweetheart. Oh, they're whispering in my ear, telling me how we had to get rid of them, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up! Is covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with You think it. I'm gonna fry for you, He's Lola? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake! Jesus! It's too late, Sabo. We gotta run her! Holy crap! All right, Jesus. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. This got messy. Shit. Get back here, murderous asshole. Last chance to surrender, Sabo. Hurry, you need to go back there. I'm trying. I went around the building. Oh shit! You stay back! I like this one, I don't care. Put the weapon down now. <laughs> Say goodnight! Help me! <sighs> Jesus! You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. <laughs> Jeez. That escalated. American Century Broadcasting. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Whew. Whew. All right. Case closed. We found every clue. We answered every question correct. 
631 dollars of vehicle damage. 205 dollars of vehicle of city damage. No injuries. It says there's no injuries. I just want to point that out. <laughs> oh man, thank you for the thank you for the GG EP. That was that was tense. That was extremely tense. We're not gonna shoot her. We're taking her to jail, Kiwi. Actually, if she survived, she'd get shot in the back. I don't know if she's gonna be okay. Oh man. She's <laughs> Judge Dredd after all. I didn't have any choice. He murdered a lady and then went, for, uh, went on the run. Had to stop her. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we got oh, five stars of Valorous. Oh, nice. We never got a five star before. That's our first one. <laughs> LTG, that code's so good. Another visit to Ray's, and you would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. Ooh, interesting. All right, so there was another scene we could have seen if we returned to Ray's. That is very interesting. I didn't even know that was there. All right. Oh, she's not the accomplice. A slip of the tongue. Kowski. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. All right, so possible stolen I vehicle. I swear the more vet cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which we would have I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe a word of it. Yeah, we saw at the very beginning of the game that uh, Cole's married, but we haven't seen too much about that since then. But apparently he is married. Jail, baby! We usually do get a wrap up about the previous case near the start of the next case, so we'll see what we can find out here. Fighting <laughs> for the meadows, oh jeez. Or the fjords. So we'll see if we can find out what happened or what is happening there. Whew. All right. All right. All right. Let's go look into that. Calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? But Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having their death strewn all over the front pages. They're talking about the Black Dahlia murders right now, which would have been happening around this period, which is pretty cool interesting thing to talk about in a uh, detective game, I think. I like it. Yeah, usually a lot of the old style like cop shows didn't ever talk about their lives outside of uh, outside of uh, work. I know they did that in Law and Order too. Is they barely ever mention any personal details about any of the characters in Law and Order. Like, if you watch long enough, you can pick up a few things here and there, but it was pretty rare. Kind of an interesting vibe for the show, I think. 6 West 2nd Street, 12.27pm. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Oh, Get shit. Alright, let's start with the car chase. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Get him! Whoa! Get out of the way, Sarazon! Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Working on it. Come on! <laughs> Lay into his wheel arches. Come on! Just see him sliding around there! 
Yeah, that's realistic. All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get right. Oh no. No. And it crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I actually took him out there. That was cool. I was excited. Oh. oh, well, let's see what saved last, I suppose. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Lost Edge, is uh, I thought because I couldn't actually get him out of the car, the game's like, oh, I don't know what to do. I will just crash, I suppose. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Lost Edge, welcome in. How are you doing today? Yeah, I, I, I didn't crash his car, but I did crash the game. <laughs> yeah, Emperor, yeah, that's... Uh, funny Cat, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Uh, dang it, dang it, dang it. I was so proud of myself for taking him down there. I'm like, oh, that went well. That was a good car chase. Good, solid car chase. I didn't wreck any. Got a couple of good uh, pits in there, all that taken out. Then we, we stopped him. We stopped him, but no. Yeah, yeah I love this game, Funny Cat. Huge fan of this game. Uh, all right. Get back in there, try this thing again. Why did the game crash? I think because I blocked his door. So he needed to step out of the car, but the game couldn't figure out how to get him to step out of the car. So it got confused and crashed. That's what I'm thinking anyway. It hit the game to death. Yeah, I hit the game's back tires. I had spun out of control. <laughs> oh yeah, the old GTA PC games are a mess. Let's see where we're at here. Yeah, we're starting the case over again. I figured that was probably where we saved last. All right. Let's see if we can skip this part. No, Kowski. B cop says we he cannot... located a green uh. Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Yeah, no, no skipping. Go it. on! Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. Alright, at least we know what's gonna happen now. We can be prepared for it. I swear, the more vet cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate, romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe the word. Yeah, GTA the Trilogy was definitely not a, a well-made remaster, which is unfortunate, because that is a series that deserves a well-made remaster. Speed running the case? I don't think we're going to be able to I cut that much time off, because we pretty much went straight there before, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I think this is one thing that drove me nuts about this game the first time is you pretty much always have to make a U-turn at the start of cases in here. And it's never super easy. We're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? But Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having been dead. Strewn all over the front pages. Got a little close. Alright. That's a weird name, LTG. Wonder if that's gonna be another thing like the uh, DS Persona, a mystery dungeon type thing. Let's head over this way. Dolly of you! <laughs> yeah, this feels familiar, doesn't it? Have I been here before? Have I done this before? Why is this so gosh darn familiar? Oh, 
Oh man, that's awesome, Zeke. That is a very cool collector's item. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get it. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. Get him. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. The truck's still right there! Lay into his wheel arches. Come on! Whoa! Whoa, there we go. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I'm working on it! That's what we took him out last time, I think, so... That's not great. Oh, there we go. Maybe that was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get bracelets on him, Phelps. I'll call it in. Is that a gun? Out of the car now. All right. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Huh. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. So he appears to have actually bought the car, so that means whoever sold it must have had it, uh, must have perhaps gotten it illegally. Interesting, interesting. Alright, let's have a chat with him right here, see what we can find out. Floor it! I did! I did! <laughs> Remember, Phelps, don't break the fabric of reality. First thing in the police handbook. <laughs> oh, goodness. Seeking chivalry, thank you for kicking in towards the community goal. Eldritch Potato? Yeah, 2400 Although that's in 1947 money. I'm not sure what that would be with inflation. Wait, that's 32000 today. Alright, maybe not so much of a deal. <laughs> Hopefully you shouldn't adjust it, that's not great. He does have terrible fashion sense, this is true. Alright, let's see what we can find out. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. I think he's being straight there. And the ownership papers? From the same place! Oh. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Yeah, this all looks legit. Interesting. Those papers are all in order. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. Hmm. Oh, he's lying. You better give us something. We're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because... Because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. <laughs> How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. He's got some wacky backy in the glove compartment! Oh, we're taking him downtown now. <laughs> oh, just throws that out there. Wacky backy, Jesus. <laughs> Of all the terms you could have used, that's the one you pick. Why? Well, I should arrest you just for using that. What's wrong with you? Yeah, not a jazz cigarette? Jazz cabbage? No, no. <laughs> Criminal. Oh my god, he's an embarrassment is what he is. I'm taking you down to the station and charging you with being a nerd. <laughs> well, you guys might not have anything better to do, but I've got a class I need to get to. Yeah, the war on drugs was late 70s, early 80s, I believe, so way, way before this. <laughs> Sparkle spinach! I've never heard of that before. That's amazing. 
<laughs> Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. I think he's telling the truth here. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arranged for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. Do you know who my father is? <laughs> we need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. All right, so we found the stolen car, but something else is going on here. We gotta keep looking into this. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. We caught up on chat a little bit. Marijuana Tax Act was in 1937, so that had been passed at least. All right, Danger Gerbil, you take care of yourself. Thanks for hanging around. We will see you around. That vest is just embarrassing. <laughs> your father's your dad, nerd. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, don't wear that vest. It's just embarrassing. <laughs> All right, let's check out this dealership. See if we can find out what happened when he got sold. Because if he didn't steal the car, then how did the dealership- the Paperwork all looked above board and he seemed like a clean cut kid. Uh-huh. Well, I get it now. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better now. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. Unless his daddy plays golf with yours, of course. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. Wow. See? I knew you weren't finished. <laughs> wow, all right. That got, uh, that got personal. That got very personal. Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, there is so much zig. Oh my god. Like, slang terms for a uh, pot, there's, there's an infinite amount. There is an infinite amount. It's insane. I think just because it's been so common for so long, but there is an unbelievable amount of slang terms for it in English. <laughs> I mean, some of these have, you know, come and gone a century now. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot. There is a lot. Whoa! Jesus. <laughs> He's looking over at chat. That's very dangerous. But if me and a certain character man, the guy that invented the cigarette, I'd murder that son of a gun in the first degree. Wow, what is the song? What the hell is the song? Nicotine slaves are all the same at a patent party or a poker game. Everything's gotta stop while they have that cigarette. What? Smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette. <laughs> what? I've never heard that song before. Holy crap, that's incredible. <laughs> Combs Automotive, 3.54 p.m. Holy crap. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. <sighs> I'm already exhausted. Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Crow. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. 
That's a joke, too, son. Well, do you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. You know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, partner. <laughs> we got a comedian here. Also, Rin, take a good look at this guy. You might actually recognize this car dealer guy. He's a very uh, he's a very prolific character actor. His name's like right on the tip of my tongue, but you might recognize this dude. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there too. All right. Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. All right, so we've got an address where he got it from, interestingly. Hey, Japan, welcome in. How are you doing today? <laughs> the Ministry of Silly Walks, he is. All right, and the, the actual slip came from Marquee Printing Company. That might be something to look into as well, in case it is counterfeit. She just greeting the whole of Japan. Hey there, Japan! Good morning. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Kurt Fuller, thank you. I've seen him in about a billion things. I love that you can recognize some of the actors in this game. That's so cool. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. Yeah, so Harrison bought it legit, and they sold it to him legit, so that's interesting. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Well, we'll see if we can get any more information out of him. Something suspicious here, but uh, I'm not sure what. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. I think he's telling the truth. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. All right, so we got that at least. That's a good thing. <laughs> He's a recurring guest on Alias. Interesting. That might have been where I saw him. I loved Alias back in the day. It was so good. The Zig, maybe she sold it, regretted it, and reported it as stolen afterwards? Well, if that's the case, then uh, we're going to have to take her in, because that's fraud right there. But we'll, we'll see. Well, that's definitely one avenue we could go down here. That's possible. I've never heard that phrase before, Kiss. Sharp as a bag of wet mice. What the hell is this guy wrong with? Most recently in Evil. That's actually on my two-watch list. I've heard that show's pretty cool. How's the game so far, Shino? I love this game. I love this game. It's so good. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Yeah, he's telling the truth there. That's fine. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the time. Interesting. What does that mean? Mad as a box of... Are, are a box full of frogs angry? Is that a thing that's happening? What? Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Well, it seems like he's being straight with us again. It says Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Oh. All right, cool. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? 
close of play on Friday. Huh. He's acting all suspicious all of a sudden. That's weird. Let's see. Do we have any evidence? No, we don't have any evidence. So let's just uh, let's just call him on it. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. So yeah, he he kind of had a scent of it, but he took the sale anyway. That's that's bad. Not illegal necessarily, but not great. <laughs> He's heard of the printer before, but I suppose if he has to work with it, that would kind of make sense. <laughs> oh, it was the coroner and psych. Interesting, Kiss. Nice, nice. Punisher, enjoy your lurk. Yeah, unfortunately, in the U.S., we still use ACH transfer, which means that checks, which are still used in a lot of places, Game take the a lead. very long time to actually go through. <laughs> EP, thank you for the 200 frog bits. Are they angry frog bits? Are You're they in a box? as thick as a whale sandwich, aren't you, son? I'm sorry, as thick as a whale sandwich? What is this guy? What the hell? EP, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate those. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. No, no, it wasn't, was it? Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy. Please have a pleasant day, Mr. Combs. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. All right, let's do that then. <laughs> Whales do be thick, that's true. That's true. What is a frog? What does a frog even look like? <laughs> Step over. I love how he just gently steps over there. That's so cute. Oh, mister, I was so tight I couldn't walk. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Messages, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks. All right, so we got a lot of things we could be doing at this point. Uh, let's take a look. That's actually not a payphone. That's sort of a police access box. But not technically a payphone. Uh, they call it a game wall in here? I'm not actually sure I'm familiar with that term, but I know it's not a public use phone, if, if nothing else. Alright, so... Well, what does the partner think we should be doing here? Yeah, kind of the American version of the TARDIS. What now? Sounds like James Belasco was picked up the same as Harris. Let's get down to Central and hear his excuse. All right. Sure, let's go check him out then. Ah, cops had a key to open them. That makes sense. And Praximo, welcome in. How are you doing today? <laughs> Uh, let's head to Here's the station. a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? 
much. I've always got it in for car sales. It doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line, just to get the hell out of there. You know? Any unable animal citizen reports a 211 in progress. Uh, sure. Unit to code three sure, let's go do a quick side quest. That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, this game is great. I love this game, Praximo. I've played it before. I'm a huge fan of it. And uh, just, it's great to be revisiting it. It makes me so happy. Alright, Alley Lords, when you take care of yourself, thanks for hanging around with us as always, Alley Lords. But hope you had a wonderful time, and we will see you around. What came first, the car salesman or the asshole? I mean, I've heard that everyone has assholes, so I think those would come first. But yeah, our partner here is a, uh, a real philosopher, as you can tell. Asking the, asking the difficult questions. Yep. Keep glancing over at Chet, it's gonna get me killed when he's gonna see. We're pretty close to the police station, too, but still, gotta do those side quests, gotta get our level up. Any unit able to handle citizen reports of 211 in progress. 4370 State Street, unit to handle code 3 identifier. 11K responding, go ahead. 11K citizen reports of 211 in progress at 4378 Street at the Bristol Hotel. Suspects are linked with previous 211s. 11K. Oh, you found the RKO they Theater. that money one more time and you're a goner. Sorry, mister. It's just my hands are shaking. Shut up! Get the money in the bag! Yes. Yes, sir. Hurry the hell up, will you? Come on! It's goddamn cops! Careful! He's got a gun! He's running! Where'd he go? Oh shit! Get in the car, we gotta chase him down! Holy shit! Whoa, Jesus! Should have seen that coming. I'm not used to the handling in this car. And, oh. Ooh. Oh, he's, he's pretty fast. He's very fast. Whoa! Crash? Where is he? Wait, where'd he go? Hey, where the heck is he? Um. Oh, did he go in here? Stop here. They're making a break for it on foot. All right. Almost lost him there. Get after him, Cole! Oh, he's above me still. Next level! Holy shit! Throw out the guns! Got him! Whew! That was a nice car until I wrecked it, that's true. Yeah, I love the music in this game, too. It's very nice. <sighs> Car 11K to KGPL. Bristol Hotel 211 is code 4. Tell you to be advised, code 4 at the Bristol Hotel on 8th Street. Code 4. All right. Another street time crime completed. Excellent. <laughs> The 
Let's see, how are we doing on intuition? We are full on intuition, that's excellent. Alright, let's get down to the police station. What is that horrible noise? Is that supposed to be snoring on the radio? I think they got some sort of comedy program. They are making the most spiteful noise. Serious. And here's the police station. We kept our head on! Yeah! <laughs> Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit paper. Thanks. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn. All right. Let's see. Interview room two down here. What the hell? Or is it down here? I always get lost in the station. This guy must have escaped the loony bin. I want to make comments. What is that? Interview... Interview room two. All right, here we go. Except I can't go in there. Didn't they say it was an interview too? That's weird. Oh, uh, where is he at then? Is there an interview room I can actually go in? Not that one. I guarantee Um. There's the holding cells. This is interview one. Game, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. Oh, is it this right here? Oh, this might be it. Interview room two. Yeah, there we go. Crummy bastard. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. All right, let's take a look. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Parker O'Green? I don't know who these were. All right. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Oh, well, that's... useful. <laughs> what, what are we supposed to do with that? I guess let's press him. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. He's in an auto theft racket. That's very interesting. Kid's pretty sassy, even we got him for tax evasion. Yeah, he, he d seems to think he's got something he doesn't. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? No. Nope. Never heard of her. No, he is lying. You want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't know no Gene Archer. All right, so that was the wrong response, unfortunately. That's my bad. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. He's lying. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. Cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Cold, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, if you guys have ever heard the meme about Cole going absolutely ballistic on people, things like these are where we get that from. <laughs> where do you pick up the cars, Belasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. He's still acting super suspicious here. Yeah, this kid's shifty. It's hard to tell. I don't know. Let's use intuition on this one. Yeah, community presses him again. All right, let's do that then. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up. Now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. We'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball, Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. All right. I bumped to the swipe and Cool. So, so that, everything seems to lead back to that printing company. So that means maybe something to look into right there. San Pedro. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get outside. And yeah, we're, we're going to be missing some pieces here and there. I'm not trying to 100% the game or anything like that, but as long as we can get to all the way to the end, I'm going to be happy. Possible insider at the printing company. That's not a bad idea. Could be what we're looking at here. The heck are we going? Oh, I was following him and he was just heading back to his desk. Oops. I thought I was following my partner there. <laughs> Definitely don't need to be in the basement. It's kind of cool they have a basement right here. <laughs> Saw a guy walking and I started walking. Now you see why I get lost so easily. Gamer Tragic, thanks for kicking in towards our community challenge. I appreciate that. Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer. Spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Oh, all right. Get to the car. Hey. Not that one. Not that one. This one. Come on! We don't want to lose her. I know. Get in the car. street and if she's at a western union i suspect she's trying to get cash so she can get the hell out of town so let's see what we can do here lone grin thank you for the contributing to the challenge it'll only take a little while longer madam the nerd a lot of funny people lapd we'll take it from here god damn it everyone's against me look just let me get my money and get out of here okay you look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. Well, she seems fun. 
<laughs> God damn hellhole. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Doesn't seem to be a lion. I mean, we, we don't have any way to prove that she's lying. Calm down. Ah, dang it. That's the wrong option. Tell me why you sold the car. You're sweet. You really are. But just get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. That was my bad. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? Oh, she's definitely lying there. Um, we don't have any way to prove the association because we botched that in the last thing. So I don't know if we can actually uh, catch her here. That's unfortunate. But yeah, I don't think we can catch her. Um, yeah, I think we have to doubt here. I don't think we have any way to hit her with evidence. He's your boyfriend. He's the guy you boost cars with. He gave you up. He thinks you're so dumb you'd steal a free sample. So I'm no genius. I make the best with what I've got. Why are you so cruel? Dang it, we got nothing. You decided to make this hard on yourself, Gene. Let's see how you handle the hard time. Ah, we botched that one. That's unfortunate. That could have worked better. I don't think well, the case isn't over yet. We've still got some threads to pull on. Let's see what we can do here. Alright. KTI Radio Los Angeles plays the songs you want to hear. The most heard. Where we want to head to next? The songs most played on automatic coin machines are right here. Well, let's head to the uh, Marquee Printing Company. Everything seems to lead to them. I think that's the only real lead we have left. See if we can Friendly find anything girl. over there. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting some. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine, too. And there's nothing wrong with a good red. <laughs> but I draw the line at gray. You know, I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining the food market. Jesus. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. Wow! Wow! <laughs> He's fun. <laughs> Doesn't sound like he has much luck with any part of his life, though. Which does check out. <laughs> yeah, all right. Head inside. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? 
We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Uh, have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Let's see if we can look around here. Can't just check out his books, unfortunately. Yeah, let's, let's take a little peek around if we can, see what we can see. You know, not much to see here. Punch clock. Nothing to inspect, though. Yeah, he seems a little suspicious. But we don't have much to go on right now. I'm not sure if we want to go full court on him just yet. doesn't pertain to the case. Alright, yeah, nothing to see there. Alright, let's, let's check with our partner real quick and see what he's got to say. Advice? We need to talk to the guy in charge. Alright, yeah. Let's go ahead and talk to him, see if we can get any more information. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Mr. Lightvall, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Mr. Lightvall. Lightvall. <laughs> um... I don't think we've got a way to pin him to the auto thefts, as far as I know. No, I don't think we have any way to pin him to that. So let's just let's just doubt for right now. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. All right. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. I was going to say, I thought he was being straight there. He doesn't look like he's being as suspicious as he was before, though. Oh, it's hard to tell. I'm going to use another intuition. Let's ask the community. Community says doubt him. All right. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good. And that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Oh, well, thanks for remembering, pal. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightvall? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hmm. Oh, we need to see that ledger. That's super important. I don't know if we should press him or if we should take the light path, if we should uh, coax him here. I want to use one more intuition because this is super important. We really need to see this ledger. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go hard on him then. Hand it over, light ball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. 
All right, let's see what we should get. Look for patterns, referring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. All right. See if anything looks weird here. Well, this S. Bigelow pops up a few times. Ah, Industrial Street pops up a lot. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightball. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. And we already know that supposedly that warehouse on Industrial Street was where the hot cars were coming from. So I think we may have found the crux of the stolen car ring here. Might be able to shut this whole thing down if we can get over there. Let's see what we can do. Chris, thank you for kicking in towards the community goal. I appreciate that. Alright. 50%? Hell yeah! We're getting there. We're getting there. On just day two, too. You folks are insane. Thank you so much for that. Alright. And they're playing the intense case ending music. So I think this is uh, where it all happens. I probably should have guessed that we should have used Doubt there, just because he'd been so uncooperative before and Doubt was getting us such good results. I'm like, why would we suddenly go easy on him now? Nah, I keep threatening him, that seems to be what's working. Alright. Alright. Actually, hang on, we're, we're going to investigate, uh... Possible stolen car ring. We can put the sirens on. We can put the sirens on here. That's fine. Everybody out of the way. Police business. No, in the remaster, I think they changed it to good cop and bad cop. But in the original version of the game, it was uh, coax and force is what it was in the actual source code. So yeah, there's a, there's a couple different things that it was original. I think coax and force actually worked pretty well. So that's what I, I kind of try and think of them as that in my head. I think that helps a little bit. Five, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. Alright, we're taking the place solo. I don't like this. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Woo! Throw out the gun. Go, 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 go. Holy shit! Dudes here, oh shit. Woo. This place is dangerous. Woo! Woo! 
I'm gonna hit there. Another one down. Tag somebody. That's another one. Two left. Get to him from here. Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled on the back of the way out. Oop. All right, yeah, so we got to get up to the top floor now. Let's move forward. You're surrounded, and your buddies are dead. Oop. Try the door at the end. I heard something. Oh, shoot. All right. Not clear yet. The door at the end, he said. All right, all right. Don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. All right. Let's do a quick search of this place. What do we got here? Key printing company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. We got proof that they dealt the, uh, with him there. That's good. A betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Aha! So Lightfall's been losing at the races, and that's why he uh, needs some extra money on the side. Perfect, perfect. Can we check the desk back here? And hey, what do we have here? There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Giant stack of blank title slips. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customs. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. They can't give you anything. Oh, jeez. He's going to put up a fight here. We still got to be careful. If we want to get the big fish here, we still have to play this very carefully. We know about marquee printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. I mean, obviously he's full of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna use an intuition here because once again this is super important we're just gonna press him I suppose there are at least four dead men in this warehouse a couple more punks won't make for that much extra paperwork wow we'd be doing the legal system a favor okay okay tough guy I get the message lightfall the guy runs marquee He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. All right. Proving the gambling debts that we got from the slips. Light bulb. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. It's one of the guys lying over there. Oh, for... You're right. He has no luck. No, he isn't. What the hell? <laughs> We've already met Gordon Lightfall. What is he talking about? <laughs> it's so complete shit. What? I don't know if we got a way to prove he's full of shit, so I think we're just going to doubt him, because what the hell? We literally met the guy a minute ago. Oh, so damn it. Go over there and check his jacket. 
your story is going to ring true. I'm warning you, Bigelow. Give it a try, Flatfoot. For some reason, none of my guys like to bring ID to work. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, Kappa. I just watched you tear my place up. Ah, didn't, we could have done better there. Still, we got a lot done in there. We did get a lot done at least. So you see it's starting to get tougher now. It's starting to get a little bit more challenging. And you can see the multiple routes that you can take through the cases now, which is pretty cool. All right. Well, last order of business, we've got to go find Lightfall and put him away. He's at the center of this whole thing. Well, if we can prove that, get him arrested, then we are in business. Hey, my feet have lovely arches. I'll have you know. Get out of there. Get out, get out from in front of my car. Leave. There we go. Alright. Let's head back to Marquee. See if we can shut this down. Alright. Oh, mess. Ugh. Gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the bare-faced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. So guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. Truth, truth. I can't see him walking to you. <laughs> Wrong side of the country for that, I think. Still valid. Alright, light ball, we're coming for you. Thought you were cheeky last time, we'll see how you're feeling this time. Ooh, sorry. Watch it! Sorry, my bad. He's fine. <laughs> we have places to be. We're trying to put a criminal away. Wow! You know, this isn't a tank, Phelps. I, I, I am noticing that, yes. That's true. I, that was a close one. Would've been a little embarrassed if we actually hit a dude. Also, you definitely lose points at the end of a mission if you need a dude. You absolutely do. It takes a better hand. A little bit more user friendly, too, I think. Lightfall, you're going down. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Well, we've got a couple of things we can use on him here. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. All right, so. So we've got three things we could use here. We've got the bedding slips. We got the box of blank printed pink slips. Or we've got uh, Bigelow's testimony saying that he has a lot of debts. What do you folks think? What should we use here? 
I'm not sure. I'm thinking either the... I'm thinking either the betting slips or the pink slips. What do you guys think? I'm curious. This is the important one. If we actually want to put them away, we got to come come up. Listen, I'm busy. You know where the door is. We got to come up with some good evidence here if we're actually going to win this case. Should you call your attorney anyway as soon as the police knock on your door? You should. Every time. And definitely don't say anything to police without an attorney. Yeah, why would he have the betting slips? That's the thing. Zig, you think the pink slips? Like, honestly, either of them. Because the only place he could get the pink slips is from here, but I suppose Lightball could always claim that somebody at his company gave it. It doesn't necessarily go straight to him. Yeah, I think the betting slips are probably what we want to go with. So let's do that. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. <laughs> Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. We got him! Whew! The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. Thank you for the GGs. Wasn't a perfect case, but we got it done in the end. That's what's important. Whew. We missed two clues and we missed four questions. So that's our, our roughest case yet, but we still got through. I'm still pretty happy with how that uh, wrapped up. Oh man, Jay Melvin, that sounds delicious. I haven't had a good cheeseburger in a while. Thank you, EP. All right, so uh, Bigelow might be a hood, but he had the dirt on Lightfall and would have flipped if encouraged. So yeah, he would we would have gotten more information about Lightfall if we had uh, said the right things to Bigelow. But unfortunately, we kind of messed that one up. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. So we're finally getting to see where Cole got shipped out, which is interesting. The Fallen Idol. Spikowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy style line took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. Well, what do you know? Literally right outside See the police station. Try not to work too hard. 
How wild is that? Dear to my eye, watching my caterpillar grow my knees. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but we'll never fit in this century. Ouch. Walk to work day? It's good for cardio. Yeah, there's the cliff they're talking about, literally right there. That's not the right car. That... Sorry! I don't know why I keep doing that. There we go. Get in the car, loser! We're going crime stuff. get up here this way, I guess. Try this way. This is exactly like the super simple way to get there. Yeah, it's still up higher than this, so we might actually want to take the stairs there. Right, can we drive up this way? Stop just ahead. Oh, I see a crime scene. Crash site, 7.59 a.m. Woo! Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard. <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. For stories that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering. If she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. Pretty knocked around. Gig gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, you can stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Interesting. Hey! Out of the way, bub! Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Thanks. All right, let me get caught up on chat real quick. Let's see. Broken Crow, you fell asleep, but you're awake now? Well, wait, welcome back. Sulfur, I'm going to be honest, it's not a game I would expect to see here. If it's because you expect to see mostly retro here. I mean, I I don't always play the older stuff, but I always try to play stuff that you don't see anywhere else on Twitch. And I'm betting nobody else on your follow page is playing this right now. Uh, plus, while I do love retro, the other thing I love is uh, detective games. Mystery games. I love a good mystery. And this, oh my god, this is uh, right in my wheelhouse. This is one of my favorite mystery games of all time. I've actually wanted to play this since day one of the stream nearly six years ago. So this is fantastic to finally be getting this out there. Excuse me. Hey, you Christensen, welcome in. Solving some big crimes we have. We just stopped a Grand Theft Auto ring. And that was pretty exciting, most definitely. All right, however, folks, I think this is probably where we're going to want to wrap up for today. So we all, this is the, I know from playing this before, this is the final case of the traffic section of the game. And this one's a doozy. This is a very big and very long case. So I don't want to jump into it right now, but this will be where we start next week. So I hope you're ready for a very exciting and twisty case next time. It's going to be a, very interesting. Uh, so thank you everybody for stopping in here i appreciate you all hanging out and i appreciate you helping me with the cases as well like i said they're getting pretty challenging right now so i'm uh interested to see where it goes and i hope you folks are still enjoying the mystery and the interrogations and putting together the evidence i hope you're having fun with it and i hope i'll see you again next week as well because next week friday saturday and sunday we're gonna be playing more of this so i hope you'll join us there again and yes, it is that time again. It has been fun, as uh, as always. Thank you, folks. So, we're going to call it quits here. But, 
As always, if you have a minute to spare, I would really appreciate it. Because while we might be done here, there is still one last thing we have to do. You may know what that is, because it's the same thing we do every time. But in case you don't know, don't worry, I'll be telling you in just a second, I say as I stall desperately. Because, before we call it quits officially for today, we gotta see who all else is online, so if you're not done watching Twitch, maybe we can send you somewhere cool. So, first and foremost, make sure you hit follow if you haven't already, that'll be the easiest way to find me next week or at any time in the future if you would like to stop in and while i'm looking to see who all is live right now there are some links in chat you might want to check out if you haven't seen them already we have a link to my twitter if you'd like to get notified about the stream that way we have a link to my youtube if you'd like to see any of the games i've played in the past or if you just want to get caught up on this game all the vods are going up there and we have a link to my discord if you would like to chat with myself or the rest of the community outside of the stream feel free to join us then Everybody is welcome there, most definitely. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go today? Uh, we got a couple options today. Very interesting. Where do we want to go today? Um, hang on, my page just refresh and see if we got any new options here. We do. We do. I know exactly where I want to go. Because this is where I'd be going anyway, so if you want to hang out with me, this is the stream you're going to want to be in. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go say hi to a very cool retro streamer from one of my stream teams by the name of Trinetta LaRue. You may have seen her hanging out in here, you may have heard me sing her praises. She's playing through all of the mainline Final Fantasy games, she's played all the Metal Gear Solids, she's playing Chrono, uh, Chrono Cross as well. So she's a big fan of JRPGs, but today she's doing a baking stream because she's also a baker by trade, I believe. So that should be interesting, and even if you're not into baking, I promise you she's very cool to hang out with. So why don't you join me over there, say hi to Trinetta, hang out for a little bit, throw her a follow if you like what she's doing. But hey, if you've got other things to do, I will just say as I always do, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at in the world. And I will see you folks next week for even more of L.A. Noir. Take care of yourselves till then, everybody.